Hey guys, it's Oscar. How you doing? I'm um, going to do a little shave of the day recap. I was going to do an actual shave video, but because some of the equipment I use, I um, I kind of didn't want anything, you know, I didn't really want anything to happen that I was going to be embarrassed about on camera. So I deal, you'll know what I'm talking about as soon as I mention it. But um, this was a kind of a cross shave group, um, multi-group shave for me. Um, mainly because um, I'm part of this this particular group shave market and um, this well here you go Mickey Lee Soapworks Agora Cerisma which is shave market in Greek now this is a kind of a limited production um, soap and aftershave combo um, made specifically for the shave market Facebook group and um, from what I understand, Mickey Lee may choose to put it out into full production, um, open to the, you know, to the general public. Um, but that's kind of in the works because this just came out. It was a limited production. You could only order between a certain date and a, another certain date. And I, because I happen to live like 10 minutes away from, from the McDaniels's, um, I got mine like in a day. So it came yesterday and, um, as soon as she said, as soon as Samantha said that it was that they had gone out, um, she sent out tracking numbers, and and it it was at the door yesterday, uh, so the next day. So again, I live like ten minutes away. I know there was kind of some mock, some mock hating going on on the shave market page, but um, they're on the way. They're on the way, and I tell you what, they are definitely, definitely going to be worth the wait. Now, from what I understand, this was kind of a derivation of their panty dropper scents and it wasn't going to be a clone it was a derivation and i unfortunately did not get any of that but i had heard only only good things about it as i do with it with all the mickey lee products but this was i have the kraken and i um i have la belle de sud the peach one uh, and one or two others i don't remember exactly off the top of my head but this was um specifically made like i said for the shave market and it is a derivation of the panty dropper um, but the, their scent description when the uh, when the first announcement first came out that they were going to be doing it was um, the ingredients were uh, I'm sorry not the ingredients but the notes were Tunisian rosemary, Siberian fir like the tree fir, um, some lavender with undercurrents of sandalwood, citrus and earthiness. And I tell you this I I, I get all that more I get more of the the rosemary and the fir kind of has a, a rosemary and piney kind of a kind of a note to it off the top and lavender is mentioned but it doesn't jump out at me very much and the citrus i get a lot of the citrus it is kind of on the cologne side um but if that's not what you're into don't let it be kind of a uh, a um, deterrent for you because it's not it's not like over pronounced on the cologne side but it's i opened it when I got into the shower, I didn't bloom it because the soap, it's not very hard anyway. Um, you know, like most Mickey Lee products, they're not very hard, but they're not soft either. I didn't bloom it, but um, when I got out of the shower, the bathroom, it's not a big bathroom, but the, the, the scent was just everywhere, even without the blooming. So, um, and then it lathers like a beast. And I say it's a, it's a cross group shave because I use the, the Shave the Man um, Savile Row um, silver tip badger and this is it's not a lot left over. i mean this is what's left over after three passes so um the uh the latherability and the um the shave feel and post shave feels amazing i mean the slickness the slickness um was was fantastic if you know if you know mickey lee products then you know what i'm talking about and even if you don't then take my word for it it's it's a fantastically performing soap and uh, again, so that was a scent description, and the um, the packaging, the labels, vinyl labels, you know, vinyl labels. Here's the the uh, Shave Market logo here. Whoops. Ha. Ah, Mickey Lee Soapworks Agora Cerisma. Again, that's Shave Market in Greek. Shave Market logo. Crazy guy with the trident. So I want to say King Neptune, maybe I don't know. But the ingredients are, and it says the ingredients all the way around, around here. So you know that they put quality ingredients. Starts with um, 
stearic acid, tallow, coconut milk, aloe vera juice, coconut oil, potassium hydroxide, cocoa butter, sodium hydroxide, castor oil, glycerin, lanolin, shea butter, avocado oil, and fragrance. So that's like, that's a heaping, heaping helping of good, good for you stuff right there. So the packaging is fantastic. And as far as the aftershave goes, it comes packaged here. It, this is, it's the same label, just a miniaturized version. It has all the ingredients in, in white across here. And um, this, it smells fantastic. It's like I said, a little on the cologne side, but um, there is a good amount of burn from the alcohol, but it tones down pretty quick. Um, and it's not very thick, but it's, it's a good, good, um, good smelling splash. And I'm very, very happy with it. But the post fit, the post shave is fantastic. Fantastic. So, um, kudos to, uh, you know, to the McDaniels is on a, another great product. So great job. Now, this is what I was afraid of massacring myself with in front of you guys. So, um, this is a prototype from Douglas Smythe. Now, it's aluminum, it's not very heavy. Again, it's a prototype. The finish is the finish is very, you know, very raw. Um, I want to say it's aluminum because it's pretty light. And at first, hmm, I don't even know where to start. At first look, it's I mean, at first glance it's a slant. It's a it's some kind of slant, right? But when I look at the top cap, you have, you know, triangular pointiness here, more of a basic safety razor look here. Now, when where most slants kind of have one side slants this way, and when you turn it over, the other side slants kind of this way, these two both slant from this end to this end. I'm sorry, this one, they both, both sides slant from this end, to, from the, the rounded end to the triangular end. So it's not a typical slant where the sides go like this. It's a slant where they both go the same way. Now, that was like, I'm like, okay, well, it's a slant. And having just used my first slant the other day, I was kind of, again, I was like, I'm not going to do this live on camera or uh, as I'm shaving because, um, who knows? excuse me. Who knows what's going to happen. But anyway, so before I put the, the blade in is right now, but before I put the blade in, I noticed a ton of potential blade blade gap. So when I you take it apart, I want it to, and it's kind of, you got to really be careful with the, you know, handling of the razor because it kind of goes in and, and out. You just You just got to be careful, obviously. So... So this, this is what it looks like without the blade, okay? You see a lot of space between the top cap and the bar. There's a lot of space. There's a lot of potential for blade aggressiveness. So again, still working my way up on the aggressive scale myself. I was kind of like, I am going to have to be super careful with this. But um, when I finally did put the razor in, and then when you're assembling it, you got to make sure there's only one way that the head and the, the base plate will fit together. If you try to put it in kind of the wrong way, that's what's going to happen. Because the now the top line of the cap and the post and the whole, the, these other posts, they're still perpendicular. They're still straight. But the, the slantness, the variation comes on the plate, on the top cap itself. Okay. Now the base plate, you'll see, is kind of canted as well. You see, it's 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 canted. It, it slants this way, so that's why there's only one way these can fit together. So there you go. Now, when I put the blade in, I was really curious to see what the blade was going to look like in there, to see just how aggressive it was going to be and how much you know blade gap and alignment and all that stuff. Now it fits in there you know, typical, um, try not to cut my fingers, and when you crank it down, there's still some curvature of the blade, typical curvature of the blade, as with, with any, um, safety razor. The blade gap was surprisingly, to me anyway, it was pretty even, 
but it was pronounced the blade I'm sorry the blade exposure the blade exposure was pretty pronounced but then I noticed because of the big lather chambers here it almost looked like it was going to be even more aggressive and look at the blade exposure and the blade gap right there so to me that said you need to be careful there's a big blade gap right there and the blade exposure so that tells me one thing aggressive now um, I was going on about th three days of growth so a little more aggressive razor was okay for me and again I knew that the with the Mickey Lee the slickness and the and the performance was not going to be an issue so I felt safe in going ahead and putting this to my face now um, as with any slant, like I said, I just started using slants, so I, I wanted to be mindful of the angle and, and the alignment and stuff. But it's basically, the angle, again, it's really easy. It's very user-friendly. The angle is there. It's pretty easy to find. I kind of went, you know, just put it on and did my kind of normal tilt and just went. And, I, and just when you keep in mind not putting any pressure on there, um, it's going to be very, very efficient and very user-friendly as long as you mind your pressure or your lack thereof anyway um but again a lot of audible feedback again because it's not a very heavy razor so the that audible feedback isn't going to be as muted as it would be with a with with a heavier razor so and then with that much blade exposure you're really going to hear it working so um i found it to be very um much more user friendly than I expected and actually less aggressive than I expected it to be. Um, so it's, it's, it's mid aggressive, but user friendly, if that makes sense. So I don't know where Douglas is going to go with this, if he's actually going to produce it. Um, again, this is as far as I know, one of a kind prototype. Um, and it's just kind of a variation on a slant. So, um, where normally, you know, if you hold, a regular slant straight up this way the base plate isn't going to be canted like that um, the base plate will be basically kind of warped and that's what and then when you put the top cap on that's what kind of warps the blade so to speak but um this one the blade isn't warped in two different directions this one the blade it's still curved it's still curved but then it's canted over like this so it's not a double warping of the blade. It's only a, a single warping of the blade, single bending of the blade. Um, and it's just easier to install. Whereas, like I said, a regular slant, when you crank it down, it's it's going to bend kind of in two different ways. So it was, it, it looked odd. Um, and if, while you're shaving, if you can kind of get over that visual oddness of the, of the shape of the head, um, it was very easy to use even with touch-ups where I'm a little because of the sensitive skin on my neck I'm a little hesitant to do kind of any buffing or touch-ups with You know with um, such an aggressive razor. It actually really wasn't a problem. I was very very comfortable with it um, Again as long as you mind the pressure, but um, you know and it rinsed out really easy during use because of the you know those lather chambers down there, but um It's it's interesting. I mean, you know Douglas that you know his wheels are always turning um, and he's coming up with stuff you know like this so it was pretty cool again I don't know if he's going to produce it um, and it is a prototype so it's very you know raw and rough looking um, but it worked I was very happy so um, shave market soap Mickey Lee fantastic product awesome um, as you know it shouldn't be a surprise how awesome this stuff is and um, the scent again is fantastic. Um, I did keep um, applying a little bit of water as I was lathering because because I didn't bloom it, it wasn't as soft as it could have been. So um, that was all me. That was on me. So I did keep pulling a little bit of water as I was lathering to get that slickness, and um, it worked. I had a fantastic shave. So um, Mickey Lee Soap Works Agora Zarisma, fantastic for the shave market. Um, shave the man Sal Row. Silver tip. Awesome brush. Um, I don't know what you're going to call it, Douglas, but um, I liked it. There you go. So, kudos all the way around.
Great shave. Hope everybody's well. A few more weeks till the Big Shave West. Uh, make your reservations, order your swag bags, and everybody be well. Peace.